Hey, what's going on guys? Zebs, also known as Hayden, bringing you another tutorial, and today will be a color correction tutorial. Um, I think I've done one of these before, I'll have to check, but I, if I did, I don't think I did it very well since it was a really long time ago. This one, I if, if I didn't, I can't remember, but, but if I did do one, this one will be better, but if I didn't, then you're going to get a high quality color correction tutorial. Now, before you watch this and you're thinking, hey, that's not how I, how I do my color corrections or whatnot. This is how I do my color corrections. I have a certain setup that usually works out pretty well for me. And um, I guess I should also say that knowing how to make a color correction is kind of essential when you're more of an, like when you get more experienced in designing because people are gonna know when you use other people's color corrections, such as like knowing people because they know that color correction. So. And also, having your own color corrections is, makes making your own style 10 times easier. Because if you're using someone else's, it's really difficult to get a nice style going if, uh, if you're using someone else's color correction. That's not like custom fit for that certain style. So I'm just going to show you how to make a blue color correction today. Um, nothing too fancy, just your, a nice color correction that you guys can use for any render that you want. Uh, go for any color, any of that. And you can modify all these all you want. So I like to start off with gradient maps. Gradient maps are basically, uh, well, I'm just gonna, gradient maps is basically making things brighter or darker. Um, it has other uses, but I pretty much just use gradient map to make things brighter or darker, for, such as like if you have the left side black, the right side white, you're gonna notice it's gonna be black and white. Um, if So if I wanted to make things darker, you don't have the black on the left, but if you want to th make things brighter, you want to have it on the right. So you just do a reverse and yeah. Um, and then what we're going to do is just do an overlay, and as you can see already, it's much brighter. And uh, after that, we're going to get a hue and saturation, and we're just going to make it all blue. Uh, try and have it towards the color correction you're working with, it makes it a lot easier. So, yeah. I'm just going to actually lower this just a little bit. Oops, not the hue and saturation, the gradient map. It's kind of something like 65, I guess. It depends on your render. Um, color correction is really do depend on your render so I mean this setup's good for most renders but I mean you could have a different one so it could be completely different but yeah just keep that in mind so after that I like to do a gradient the other gradient not the gradient map and what this will do is uh, makes a gradient obviously and you want to select a blue a nice like I'm just gonna do a dark blue so something maybe like oh, like that and then set this one to black. And what we're going to do then is just lower the opacity a little bit where it's not too powerful, but just faintly there. And we're just going to duplicate it. And then, hold on. Anyway, uh, yeah, duplicate it and then duplicate that. And then we're just going to flip both of these. So do the reverse. And with this, we're just going to actually lower the opacity a bunch with these top two. So maybe like half. So it's barely, barely like showing. Um, so something like this. I might lower this just a little bit more. Uh, this is all like kind of up to you how you want things. So after that, you're gonna do a curves, and this is depending how you want it. If it, if you want it darker or brighter, um, the top part's brighter, the bottom part's darker. So. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so I'm just gonna make mine just a tad bit brighter. Um, so it makes the saw part stand out a little bit more. And after that, I like to do a vibrance. Uh, vibrance, kinda have it at 100. I like to have it at 100, kinda makes it stand out a lot more. Uh, saturation, I really don't mess with that much. I don't like to oversaturate things, uh, it looks really bad. Um, and then after that, I guess do a photo filter. Now. In this case, I'm doing a blue color correction, so you don't have to do this. Um, but if you're doing a color correction on any other color, get a blue, and set, like a blue like this, and do that. It'll make your color correction look a lot better, guarantee it. Um, but basically, uh, let's see here. Make sure this is basically all I do for my color corrections. So, um, yeah, quick. It's a quicker tutorial, but I mean, color corrections really don't take that long to do. So I mean, this took me what? four minutes, basically well, five minutes, so I mean, yeah, very quickly. So, some advice, try and avoid using other people's color corrections. I mean, 
sure, I put them in my packs and stuff. You can use them, but I mean, they're kind of for like, you know, the beginner designers. If you want to really step up your banners up much more, make your own color corrections. But I mean, I'm not forcing you to, just some friendly Zeb's tip, pro tip of the day. And uh, also, at the end, I like to have a question of, uh, like, a question at the end to see if you've watched the whole thing. So, this question of this week will be, uh, what's your favorite tutorial in Designs Academy? And why is it your favorite? Anyway, I'm Zebs, and I've been your host today. So I'm, I'm going to have a new outro now, so here it is. I'm Zebs. I've been your host today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, like and comment, and peace. I'm out.